Pleasure, Mrs. Councilor Wickham. Thank you, Your Worship. I'd like to move uh, that we permit consideration of the close meeting investigator issue immediately. Is there a second for that motion? Yes. Councilor Lockwood, all those in favor? Opposed, that is carried. Uh, I believe that the recommendation has been tabled uh, from before. The recommendation was to go with LAS, I believe was the recommendation. So I think what we'll have to do is then, if you wish to, uh, uh, that will be the motion that will be on the floor again. And that uh, if you wish to go with the Ombudsman, we will defeat the first motion, then we'll have another motion to go with the Ombudsman. So, uh, speakers to the motion. Okay. We do motion to put the table motion back on the floor, Councilor Whitfield. Second by Councilor Schuler. All those in favor? All those that stay, Councilor Whitfield. Thank you, Your Worship. Thank you, Your Worship. Um, I won't be supporting uh, the table motion tonight. Um, the information that uh, we received from the Ombudsman I found to be uh, very informative. Um, it answered a lot of my questions and it made it a lot easier for me to make a decision on this. I agree that uh, we should take advantage of any funding, provincial, uh, um, um, wherever possible, and uh, I'm confident that the Ombudsman is capable of, of providing a fair and uh, um, just decision in a timely manner. So I won't be, to, uh, pardon me, I won't be uh, supporting the motion to uh, um, enter into an agreement with uh, LAS. Thank you, Councilor Whitfield. Just uh, for Council's uh, clarification on this, uh, the recommendation that is on the floor is that uh, the bylaw be submitted to Council to appoint and enter into an agreement with local authority services at any limited for a period of two years to act as the town's investigator for closed meetings. Effective January 1st, 2008. That was a motion on the table. That's the motion that is now on the floor. Councilor Williams. Thank you, Mayor Martin. I'm also not going to be supporting that motion. I think for a lot of reasons that Councilor Whitfield gave, I will say that in all the correspondence I've had with the Ombudsman's office in the last week, it's, you know, they've responded very timely. Um, and I think um, coming down here is probably above and beyond. But uh, I think it really helped all of us uh, make up our minds. The one thing that, uh, not that we can do anything about it, is I was a bit concerned about the comment made by the Ombudsman in regards to that they had asked to be present at the annual conference and to, to be able to basically give us all, all the delegates an opportunity to listen to the Ombudsman's office and they were denied that opportunity. I, um, you know, as much as I appreciate all the work that the annual does, I think it's a wonderful organization. I think they, they, uh, they misstepped on that one. I think the more information, the better. And, um, I think that was a misstep on their part. Councilor Schuler, Councilor Sanders. Yeah, I, I too wanted to uh, just repeat Councilor Noyes' remarks there. Uh, as when the Ombudsman was here, I, uh, I alluded to the fact that Shane wanted to aim uh, for uh, not getting all the information. Uh, our people who went there came away with the, uh, the strategy predicated on what was presented. And I don't think they were given all of the uh, all the information to in order to effectively bring back what we needed to have back. Uh, I, I thought the, re the uh, ombudsman was a, a very impressive. Um, he, as Councilor Field said, he answered all of our concerns, um, and that the, uh, it was uh, any municipality that uh, it has not made a decision uh, and didn't have the benefit of hearing what he had to say. Uh, they were. Uh, they miss out on something. Uh, so at this point in time, I think it, it's a no-brainer at this uh, the question being called. The motion before us will be defeated, and that uh, we will go forward with full confidence with the Ombudsman. Thank you, Mayor Martin. Um, I was for the Ombudsman right from the start, and I'm very happy that Council um, took the time and the effort to debate this decision, although we've taken some heat in the press on it, that uh, we've debated too long. And I would rather debate longer and come to the right decision than rush to a wrong decision, as the, uh, the press put it. So I'm very happy that uh, the Ombudsman came. Uh, I was, uh, you know, actually had some uh, uh, interesting comments in there, things that I had not <coughs> considered. So, you know, I, I appreciate Council taking the time and uh, and making the offer to him, and I appreciate his uh, effort in coming down. I too will be against the motion tonight. Thank you, Your Worship. 
I was very impressed with Mr. Miranda, who is a candidate uh, towards the, the workings of his office. There's uh, one quote uh, in his uh, 2007 report, and it uh, simply put, it says, public trust is the necessary currency of good government, and uh, that uh, struck me, um, struck a chord within me. So uh, I will be not in support of a uh, table motion. Um, I, I will caution staff, staff and council that um, this is a process. This is new grounds, new territory for the Ombudsman's office, and uh, he is charged with um, some other serious um, concerns, um, like PoLG, like MPAC, uh, like FRO. So um, I think this is going to be a learning experience for everyone on board, and uh, I look forward to uh, the response, uh, timely response that we get from the Ombudsman. Any further comments? Um, seeing more, I just have a quick comment as well that uh, I will be um, supporting the use of the Ombudsman and defeating the motion as it stands and supporting the next motion for a variety of reasons. Um, number one is I think that in the past, uh, we have, on this council and past councils, as I said, this is 1982, I think it is, and, and I think every council that I've seen has done due diligence in the fact that they have conducted themselves properly. We have nothing to fear at all about going into a closed session meeting because we have the, uh, the information that's provided to us is, is, is accurate and it's precise and we get good guidance by staff here to, to make sure that we are aware of, of what we're going in the closed session and why we're going to be there and follow the, the, the laws to, uh, to a T. And so I have no fear of anyone investigating anything that this council has done uh, either in the future or in the past as well because I think we have conducted ourselves appropriately and properly so I have uh, no fear of having the answer coming. The other thing is, is that we went with LAS and they found in favor of the council, there would always be that suspicion out there that they're doing that just to suck up to the council. And this way here, it's the ombudsman who will be coming forward with, uh, you know, as he has say, said, uh, quite independent. And I think that if we are confident in the information we have and confident in the decisions we make, we have nothing to fear at all. So the only thing I do find ironic, though, is Councilor Steckley says is it's the first time that uh, certain members of the press have. Uh, have criticized us for doing the due diligence, for doing the work, you know, patting ourselves on the back for having been come down here was, I think, the appropriate thing because I was not supportive of the time of having uh, the ombudsman because uh, some of the information I didn't think and some of the comments he made I didn't think were appropriate. Having him come down and giving a better explanation as to what his office does and how it will be handled, and the fact that the decision that will come back is not to challenge the decision that was made in the closed session, but simply to address whether or not we have the legal right within the act to go into the closed session. I think that's important. So uh, I will also be um, not supporting the, uh, the motion on the floor and waiting for the, final, the second motion. The motion is on the floor. All those in favor? All those opposed? It is defeated. Councilor Whitfield, uh, we have a vote Thank you. Moved by myself, seconded by Councilor Schumer. The Municipal Council of the Town of Fort Erie hereby consents to the use of the office of the Ombudsman for the investigation of any closed meetings in accordance with the provisions of the Municipal Act 2001 as amended. That motion is on the floor. Any questions to that? Just, just for members of Council's uh, information, if we don't have to do this, we don't have to put the motion on the floor because effective January 1st, it will automatically go to the Ombudsman, but I think it sends a clear message that this is a decision of Council. All those in favor? Opposed? That is carried. I have no fear of anyone investigating anything that this Council has done in the future or in the past as well, because I think we have conducted ourselves appropriately and properly, so I have uh, no fear of having the answer coming. The other